In this video, I'm going to show you how you can migrate your Wix website to a WordPress website. So as you can see here, I have my WordPress account. Here I have my Wix website. And if I want to basically migrate this site, I need a website that's called um, cart to cart. So you can find the link in the description to cart to cart. And this uh, website allows us to do a website migration with shops so if you have a wix website you can easily migrate it to a wordpress website uh, make sure woocommerce is installed on your um, website so you have to go to plugins add new and then install woocommerce install it make sure woocommerce is installed you don't really have to do anything with it yet but make sure it's on the site if you don't have a site at all you can go to the link as well where I put SiteGround and I'm using SiteGround hosting for my uh, websites. So yeah, you can just leave this like this and now you're good to go. And now you want to go to cart to cart just create an account and create a new migration. And from the source card, we want to select Wix. And to the target card, we want to select uh, WooCommerce because WooCommerce is basically the card that is used on WordPress. Um, now we want to enter in our domain of our Wix website, just like that, and then the admin email and the admin password, and do the same thing for WooCommerce. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So there we go. What we have to do now, we have to hit choose entities, and now it's going to connect uh, your Wix website to WooCommerce and see if everything is set up correctly. Then as you can see from here, we can select the entities for migration. So I'm going to select all, but of course you can select only the things you really want. You can also uh, select some other things like create 301 redirection, but this is all um, included with extra cost. So I'm not going to add one of these. So then we can hit start right there. And now it's going to start the migration. As you can see now, this takes a couple of moments maybe, but it shouldn't take more than a few minutes and then we are done and we can continue with the process. So as you can see the demo migration has been done and the demo migration has been successfully completed. Here we can check the results. Um, here we can view some more information and now here we can read check the entities and additional options that are about to be migrated. So it will cost $29 for 32 entities as you can see and uh, for me the price will be 29 but if you have a bigger website and they have to transfer or migrate more entities the price may be higher and what we can do now we can go to check results above and here we can see all the information so my my website that i wanted to migrate was completely empty and that means that also, there will be no products shown because, yeah, I had no products. But if the products now show up here, that means that the demo migration was a success and that we can start the full migration by hitting the green button up here. If it uh, helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you next time. Have a good day.